The rack extension you're looking at here is the Seelig Colouring EQ. I hope I'm saying that right. I hope I'm pronouncing Seelig correctly, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. So this is the Seelig Colouring EQ. And there's so many things I like about this EQ, it's going to be tough to cover in this short video, but I'll try my best. Essentially, it's a seven band equaliser. Five of those are dedicated equaliser bands from the get go, and two are dedicated filters at the top and bottom as high pass and low pass. These filters can also be changed in mode, as can every single EQ band. On top of this, you've got master controls, which I find really useful. This allows you to change the gain overall of every single band. You can change the tuning uh, frequency point of every single band, and you can change the cue point of every single band as well. So once you've got your relative EQ set up, you can change an overall setting. We've also got a saturation mode, which allows us to change odd and even harmonics, and this can be switched on and off with a master control. Each band has a separate drive control, a separate level control, and something I really like, not only can you turn them on and off individually, but you can also solo them. Normally you only see this in dynamic EQs and multiband EQs, but I really like the fact they've included this. It allows you to clearly home in on a specific frequency and really fine tune it. Now, once you've set up a band how you want it, so we've got a high shelf here, you can control the gain and the tuning the specific frequency you're working with, and the cue point right here. But also you can grab it here in the display, which I really like. You've got two different forms of control, essentially. You can then add drive here and change the level of the EQ. And like I said before, it's easily soloed using this small button here. If you want to turn the overall EQ on and off, you can do that with this master switch. And we can change the input gain an output game with these master faders at the top right. On top of all of this, we've got a spectrum display control. We'll see this when we play audio through the unit, and this can be switched on and off. You can also change the speed and the whole time of it as well. If you're a fan of mid-side EQing, you're in luck here, because our routing modes can go from stereo, making this pretty much a traditional standard stereo EQ, to mid EQ, side EQ, mid only, and side only. So this really gives you lots of options now, if you want to get really creative with the colouring EQ, you can get into the sequencer control. And this, honestly, I think is the first time I've seen such in-depth sequencer control on an EQ. We can choose note or gate on the front here, and then we can choose destinations. So you can choose specific EQs or all of them. If we flip the rack round, you can see the sequencer control up here. And then we've got loads of CV inputs and outputs for dedicated control of each band. We've also got audio inputs and outputs up here for each band, so you can break the standard routing and break these out individually. So to sum all of this up, I'd say the colouring EQ is probably one of the most creative EQs I've seen in Reason so far.